Good evening. I am Sir Frankfurt Falafel, and I am here to share with you all a story inspired from Muslim apologists using the Bible to tell the story about their favorite prophet, Muhammad. This was written by me, Sir Frankfurt Falafel, and this is how the story goes. Muhammad was once a king of Israel's son. He was also his silver and his gold and his women. The king of Samaria had vowed to take Muhammad away from Israel and possess him for himself. This troubled the king of Israel, but he agreed, seeing that Samaria had great strength and power. However, Yahweh sent a messenger to inform the king of Israel that this would not happen, when in fact, Yahweh said that Samaria would fall under the foot of Israel. So the king, following Yahweh's order, sent out his soldiers. They routed the Samarians. Muhammad was saved as the possession of Israel. Hundreds of years later after that, Muhammad was then identified as Solomon's sweet and lovely mouth. So sweet, so lovely. So, Muhammad, Deem. And then hundreds of years after that sweet, lovely mouth of Solomon, Muhammad, he again turns up in the Bible to be burned along with the holy temple of God. Muhammad was destroyed and turned into ruins. Muhammad was then stretched out and his sanctuary was entered by the enemy against his will. The Lord was displeased with Muhammad and bent his bow like an enemy towards him. The Lord poured out his anger upon Muhammad and stretched out his right hand against him and slayed him as a foe. And finally, poor Sweet, lovely silver and gold, women, son of the king of Israel, Muhammad. He did meet a better end under the wrathful judgment of God. And that's, wait a minute, there's more to the story. Muhammad is alive once again, but lo, only to be slain once more under the wrath of Ezekiel who did not mourn for him or her. Muhammad was slain twice and reincarnated once again, only to be plundered and taken away and buried once more. Muhammad is almost born again, but lo, he was slain in his mother's womb. And poor, sweet, lovely, silver and gold Muhammad was never heard from again. Or was he? Marvel at the proclamation of Zakir Naik, the 21st century Muslim scholar. He proclaimed that this Muhammad is his prophet from the 7th century and that we can know about him because the Bible calls him by name. But Twain to ponder. I must wonder, whatever happened to poor, sweet, lovely, silver and gold, Muhammad? What happened to him in the seventh century? Well, as fate would have it, he was poisoned by a Jewess and died a long, painful, and agonizing death. This was told, of course, to us by his child bride, Aisha, who said that Muhammad claimed that he felt as if 
his aorta was being severed. And then, shortly after, he died. The end. Thank you for sitting with me today. My name is Frankfurt, Sir Frankfurt Falafel. Enjoy your evenings.